Happy Mermaid! Here's a super easy way to paint mermaids with watercolors and a permanent black ink pen. For most of this I'm going to be using a medium sized round brush. Add some water to your desired skin tone and start with an oval shape for the head. Make a little streak going down from the center for the neck and a half circle outline on each side for the arms. Outline an hourglass shape for the torso and then thicken up the arms a bit. Give that color a couple minutes to dry and then outline a shape for the tail. The tail can really sway in any direction you want. You just want it to be wider at the top and taper off at the bottom, kind of like a teardrop shape. Now I'm grabbing a detail brush in a different color and just adding a little dab of red above where her hands are and I'm making two circles for the bikini top. Everything that we're doing is just simple geometric shapes. Now I'm switching back to my medium size brush and adding two more teardrop shapes on the end of the tail. You can use your detail brush again to add straps to the bikini top if you'd like. Now back to our medium size brush for the hair. This is the really fun part. I am adding a cloud of hair using circular motions to give the impression of the hair floating in the water. You want to add more water to your paint for this part so that it can really flow. We want a really wavy, organic, cotton candy-like shape. And then I'm rinsing off my brush and going along the edges of the hair shape with just some water to blur it out. As for the final touches with our paint, I'm going back to my small detail brush and adding two little red circles on the cheeks. Now, a lot of half circles. Using my black pen, I'm adding two half circles for the eyes, one for the mouth, a little half circle under the chin, and for the nose, you can also do a tiny half circle or a little pointed triangle. We're also going to use two half circles to bring out the hands. For the scales, which we'll be doing, you guessed it, more half circles, I'm using a metallic gold pen, but you can do this in the black or any other color as well. Add some wavy lines to the tail and we're done. You can add whatever you want to the hair, some flowers, some fish, bubbles, or just leave it how it is. Metallic pens are really fun because they give a lot of shine, but again, not necessary. You can use any permanent pens that you have lying around. Also optional, you can use your detail brush at the end to swipe a little bit of color over the eyes and mouth. And I think I'm gonna dab a little tiny pink eyebrow above each eye also. Starting with these basic shapes, you can then go in and embellish and add however many or however few details you want. This project is really customizable and great for all ages and ability levels. Thanks for watching. Now go make some mermaids.